right guys, we're pulling in to a really nice neighborhood for a neighborhood yard sale. Woo, these are some nice houses. Looks like we got our first sale over there. We got sales over there. There's already people everywhere, guys. How you doing? Doing well. How are you doing? Good. Good. Beat the heat, huh? Yes. Okay, I don't need a foosball table, but I do have some youngins. All right. <laughs> some nice Abercrombie. Uh, <laughs> How much is your little Furby? Two bucks for Furby. Little bed. Okay. She's had that. And That's cute. I've never seen a little bed. <laughs> I was terrified of it. They do not hush, do they? This one will. Hey, you want to play? That's a dance thing. Hi. It tells you jokes. Tell me a joke. Sure. Keep a pair of two naps. No way. Who's there? Justin who? Justin time. <laughs> you might need a new battery. Yeah, probably. She <laughs> wasn't crazy about it, but you were either. <laughs> Sometimes those little electronic voices are a little creepy. I love the Mario on the Wii. It's my favorite. I played that weird little friends game. It's on the Furby. So that's yours. Six. No, it's your Furby. Game. You bought the Furby. It's <laughs> yours. Wait, stop. Seven. I have to put a sign out. We are not beating a child. <laughs> Did you say seven? Because this was six right here. So you just. Yeah. These are. Are these 50 cents each? Two, what four, you, six. Uh, yeah, yeah, seven. All right. You really want to get rid of stuff. Yes. The other lady was right. Yes. Well, thank you so much. Good luck with the rest of your sale, guys. Thank you. All right. I don't know about this little new age Furby, but the prices were pretty dang cheap. Two bucks. Double Crocs. Y'all know I love my Crocs. And I'm picky about Vera Bradley, but those are both really good patterns. And 50 cents, what? Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna take your super soaked okay. tanks. Thank you so much. Was it a dollar? Uh, it says a dollar. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'll see y'all at the next one. Okay. <laughs> All right, that is neat. Super Soaker Air Pressure Vintage Tanks. That's cool. Look at Scooby. Since Scooby was priced at $10, I took a second to look it up and he was only selling for between $25 and $35, so I did leave this behind. Fitz and Floyd is definitely a brand to always take a second look at. Oftentimes they carry a great value. How much is your Santa? Five dollars. Okay. Nope, there's one in here. That's another one right there. That's cool how it has a handle. Is it a T something? Or has it just got a handle for good looks? Oh, he has a hole in his, in his bag. Oh, neat. How much 
You know more good stuff for me? <laughs> what? <I'm sorry. laughs> this is a car. It's a musical sleigh. sleigh. I will check it out. Might go with my little scene over there. Oh, oh, there it is. There's a picture of it right there. Okay, I'll take that one too. You can pull it out of there. Okay. Is that one five also? Yeah. Okay. So I owe you ten bucks. There you go, dear. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Me too. There's lots of sale. Me too. I have a chance to go check out. right. <laughs> That's the only bad part about having them is you I miss know. them. Yeah. The other one had a chip on the Christmas tree. So I just picked up these two. Hopefully they don't have a chip. If it wasn't a neighborhood yard sale, I would probably take the time to open these up and look. But being it's a neighborhood yard sale, I'm going to go, go, go. And those people that are right in front of me, that lady's also a reseller. And there they go. Good morning. Good morning, folks. Good morning. Hi. You look cheery. You look cheery. Thank you. Well, good for you. Three peeps. Yeah, okay. I'm going to take this in and exchange it. Here. Well, great. That's the best kind. <laughs> I bought them. We had a shop, but I sold them. I'm just watching you as you go through them. <laughs> <laughs> Are you finished? Okay. I was looking at them. these buckles like this right here. Yeah. I can feel them in the back of my head. Oh, know. yeah. You putting those ones back? Yeah, I don't like them because they got buckles, but oh, oh, my wife, she wears them to uh, when we go fishing. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's she, a cool one. But yeah. she likes those kind of material. See, I get the ones that's got co, mm -hmm. not, not zip co, um, Velcro. Yes. Good old Velcro. Here this morning. <laughs> Six, seven. Sure to one shorter, everybody. Look at those cool socks. Those are awesome. All right, dear, how much did you have on these shoes? Three. Three? Okay, so I've got five, six, seven, eight, eleven, and we'll just call that a dollar. So twelve dollars. And okay. then I took two of your free hats okay. there. Okay. There you Thank go, you dear. So Thank much. you. And you have a good day. You too. More strangers. You too. It's happy to see a neighborhood sale on the map today. All right, guys. Durango is not my favorite brand, but red cowboy boots of any kind. Those hats are cool. Free hats. That, let's see. Ooh, it's got three different colors. Nice. 75 cents, can't beat it. Got two symbols side by side. This is one it looks like. Oh my goodness. Goodness, goodness. I wonder what your mama puts you through here. Yeah. That 
would keep you safe, wouldn't it? Look a harness. Oh, it's cool. Yeah. Hunchback of Notre Dame. It's all faded. A little faded. All these round deltas. This t shirt does sell, but I passed on it due to all the cracking on the graphics. I probably still could have gotten 15 bucks for it in that condition. Ooh, that's a good one. Disney Kingdom Hearts. That's it. I don't know. That's impressive. Thank <laughs> you. Missing the plug, bummer. Freehand. This vintage Roy Rogers trailer has a broken place on it, but the horse replacement is probably worth at least $10 by itself. little sack roots bag. I'm picky about those but that's a good one. We just say 50 cents for all that. This is yours. That's yours. Let's see two dollars and fifty cents. And then all these shirts. Okay. One, two, three. So five fifty for me. And two for her. And four for you. Yeah, four for me. Thank you. And then I don't have the right you change for, for you. Uh, yes, I will take it back, please, for all my little guys. Have you guys been busy this morning? Yeah, been kind of busy for a Friday. Actually, whose is but whose is um, bugs here? Yeah, that's mine. Okay, I'll give you another dollar. Okay. Back from your friend. All right, go. thank you. Thank you. You guys have all kinds I of like neat him. little stuff. I thought he was really cute. It's so cool. <laughs> I'm gonna be playing with him later. Oh, we got the t-shirt going It's okay, I'll ground. shake them off. Okay. They were washed, so. Awesome. Oh, yeah, do shake them off. <laughs> I go home with spiders and everything else every weekend for sales. <laughs> Thank you, guys. All right, guys, that was a good, quick little pickup with some neat stuff. But I stopped at one yard sale before this on the way to this sale, and I got another good score. Ooh. I want to shut you in the door. I got this entire set of homeschool books. This, I'm not even sure what brand this is. Does that say Simit or Emmet with a fancy C? I don't know. Certificate of Authenticity. Super cute. It was two bucks. This Adora Bell doll was five. 
but check her out. She has her little outfit, authenticity, and she was like a QVC only order. So I'm hoping that she's really good. She was five bucks. And then I got this huge lot of Bible Learn book series. It's so dusty. And this flip cape heart. Never even heard of that. But it's the flip alarms, and I know those are pretty decent. So, oh, I also got this set of silverware. And the brand is worn off on, of course, the one I picked. I don't even remember what brand they are. So it's a whole set. Talking Battleship. This one sells for like 30 bucks. I've sold one of these before. Battleships. How much is your battleship game? What was it? Oh gosh, I'm the worst at that. <laughs> yeah, it's worth four. Okay. In this video, you guys are gonna watch me pick from this table, not once, but twice. And I miss literally hundreds of dollars of items that I do come back for. The first round though, you guys see me pick up these two discontinued products. The Neutrogena sold for $25 and the Nizoral for 17. dirty but it just looks like dust that's cool I think it's a soccer jersey about Adidas, but that seems pretty cool for three. I think I'll take that too. It's a pretty cool pattern. It's cool. Shout out Yvonne Thrifty Rich. That's what I got, ladies. Let's check the four. Who's this? The R's. Six. What are these? Uh, just them for a dollar. It's it might be four, nine. five, six, seven, eight, nine. Might be nine. Oh, she's got price of them. Yeah, those are about three each. Okay. Nine and six. Fifteen. Fifteen bucks. All right. You got to have a yard sale permit, huh? I know. Yeah. I live in Lexington. We don't have to have one. That's, yeah, I've never seen one before. I, mean, I never did either. She said, I'm looking like Shirley. We have three a year. Are you serious? That's what my daughter, she lives here. Before. Yeah, they left it four down. Oh, that now how much does it cost for a yard sale permit? I don't think it costs anything. Oh, okay. I think they just want to keep up with it. Okay. No, I will take it back if you have one. Yeah, oh, yeah right there. Do you want me to grab one? Yeah. I can reach. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks, ladies. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Okay, guys, so I put that stuff in my car, and I realized that I forgot to look over that table that had uh, the vintage, like, lotions, and I noticed there was some cameras and some perfume. When I was looking at that table, I got distracted, and so I paid, and I took my camera off, and I went back up there and spent a few minutes looking a few things up on that table, and I just spent an additional $20, and I'm going to show you all what I got. 
so I bought two boxes of hearing aid batteries. They look like this. Nothing major, but for $2.50 a piece, I should be able to get at least $20, $25 out of those. Then I got this Nikon Coolpix SO1. And the condition on these is why I picked them up. So it's just dusty. But it looks like it doesn't even have scratches on it. I could be mistaken. But then there's this little guy. Well, first, this perfume um i think i just saw a comp that it sold new for like 80 bucks and it's new in just a dirty package and then we got this canon you guys better know how much i love you because it's like 90 degrees right now i don't have the air on so you can hear well i'm um, sorry i had to just say that power shots and this little guy i didn't even look up because when i opened it up you could see that it was new in the sleeve like it has never been used it has no scratches it's a cool color uh, 20 bucks for all these I am very happy with especially considering I know I'll be able to get well over 20 for just the perfume so there you have it this is why you go back I get very distracted and I actually have ADHD so I'm like oh look a bird oh look a squirrel and yeah it makes reselling a little bit more difficult because you do miss stuff at times and I get very easily distracted rather it be by a competition or or another item across the yard sale. So it is what it is. I do the best I can and um, I'm only getting better as we go. I'm not as cool, calm, and collected as part-time picker Matt, for example, who just does the slow, methodical looking. Not I. I'm like, ah, oh, ooh, ee, ah. Okay, I'm literally about to start dripping in sweat if I don't turn this air back on, guys. So on to the next one. I'm actually going to cut in right here, you all, because the video is about 22 minutes long so far, which is about the sweet spot for most of you all. We found some fantastic stuff at those sales. So to put it into perspective, that sale was three weeks ago, and most of those items have since sold. I did make a mistake picking up those hearing aids. There's like 50 sets of those hearing aids listed on eBay, and zero sold. They're like one of those cheap AliExpress type batteries or something of that nature that's never going to sell. So those are going to go Go into the donate pile but all in all it was a fantastic day full of great picks so that one little hiccup is not going to slow us down but let me show you all this really quick so jonathan is in there printing all of our other labels but he saved our two best sales of the day for us 450 dollars plus shipping the buyer's like 550 dollars all in for this set of nike golf clubs and the bag here so if you guys did not see it in my last video we paid 60 bucks for these and they sold in six days so definitely remember that they don't make Nike golf stuff anymore and it's something to keep your eyes peeled for. And then also this set of How to Train Your Dragon characters sold for $100 plus shipping. All because of that rare little purple guy right there. His name is Razor Whip and he's worth like 60 bucks by himself. So he carried the lot on this bad boy. And I paid $2.99 a piece. There's five. So what's that? 15 bucks into 100 on this one. Three hours later... The golf clubs are packaged. No, not really three hours. I'm totally exaggerating, but maybe like 30 minutes. So we didn't have the perfect size box. So we did a little telescoping of three standard small boxes, put them together to make the perfect size box. Lots of tape around the edges and that's ready to go. Thankfully, this was going to a neighboring state, so it only cost $45 to ship this entire set of clubs. Now, we normally do keep random boxes. As you can see, though, we're, we're running a little low on some of our randoms. And, um, yeah, when you don't have the exact size box you need, you can always put multiple boxes together. Just make sure you're taping it all the way around at the top. And definitely, definitely at the, at the joints there, at the connectors, at the, at the pieces where they meet. I can't think of the right words. I'm a bad person for thinking of the right words on the spot and having a YouTube channel. Those th two things together get a lot of, um, yeah, whatever. See, can't think of the word right now. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you all enjoyed this video at all, please consider giving us a like. And if you would like to see more content, consider hitting the subscribe button. I do not say this very often, but you know, here's a gentle reminder if you wanna. That's all I have for you all today. I'll see you guys on the next one.